For many years now, the people of Tonga have been united in friendship with the people of the British Commonwealth. Today, the flags go up over the feast house on the Malaa at Nuku'alofa, as all Tonga prepares to welcome Queen Elizabeth of the Commonwealth and His Royal Highness the Duke of Edinburgh, honoured guests of the Queen and people of the Friendly Islands. <laughs> A guard of honour of ex-servicemen marches through the crowded streets of the capital, watched by men, women and children from the mainland of Tongatapu and from the most distant island communities of Queen Salote's realm. Some await the arrival of the royal visitors with professional calm. Others, more carefree, rejoice in the mood of the moment. And all join in the unrestrained cheers of welcome that rise to greet Her Majesty Queen Elizabeth and the Duke of Edinburgh as they set foot on Tongan soil for the first time. The two queens meet as friends, as they did on another great occasion, at the coronation of Queen Elizabeth in London. Now Queen Salote introduces members of the Tongan royal family, Crown Prince Tungi and his wife Princess Mataho, Prince Tui Palahaki and his Princess Melanaite. <laughs> After inspecting the Tongan Guard of Honor on the wharf, the royal party travels by open car to the war memorial on the foreshore of Nuku'alofa. In two world wars, the people of Tonga have defended their freedom side by side with the people of the Commonwealth, and in tribute, Her Majesty lays a wreath on the memorial. Meanwhile, on the Malae, nearly 6,000 men, women and children have assembled to welcome the royal party. <laughs> Conforming with ancient custom, Her Majesty Queen Salote formally receives Queen Elizabeth and the Duke of Edinburgh on the Malae. From every part of the kingdom, people have come to Nuku'alofa. They watch with interest as leading members of the community are presented to the royal visitors. In these friendly islands, Tongan and European work together for the common good, under a constitutional monarchy that has made Tonga a model Christian state. Tradition and a respect for simple virtues are the guiding forces in the lives of the people. Now the laying of the great tarpa cloth from the fale to the feast house precedes an afternoon's feasting and dancing that will long remain in the memory. Side by side, the two queens with the Duke of Edinburgh and Crown Prince Tungi walk across the Malae to the feast house. The Queen and people of Tonga have worked for many months to prepare for this day. The feast is a communal act of hospitality and celebration in the Polynesian manner. It is the full fruit of Tongan husbandry. Chickens and roast sucking pigs, bananas and pineapples, talo and coconuts and lobsters, the harvest of the sea and the good earth. In company with the royal party, a thousand guests eat of this feast. An hour 
hour passes all too quickly, and the sound of drums breaks the quiet of the afternoon. It is the prelude to a performance of island songs and dances, and the feast ends as the royal party returns to the cool shelter of the Fale. Tong and craftsmen have built the Fale especially for this occasion. It is decorated in traditional style, and Prince Philip is quick to notice that the roof overhead is a mosaic of thousands of small shells, forming the Tongan coat of arms with its symbols of peace and unity. Now a welcome and praise for the royal guests is expressed in action, song and dance. Some of these dancers are generations old. Others have been composed by Queen Salotti in honor of the royal visit. Prince Tungi explains to the Queen that the full meaning of the action song is conveyed not only by word and music, but by the movements of the dancers. And so at the close of a great day for Tonga and the Commonwealth, these are the sights and sounds that live in the memory as the Queen and the Duke leave the Malae for the Royal Palace. In the
the sure knowledge of a kindly welcome, the Queen of the Commonwealth will rest secure in Queen Salote's realm. Dawn breaks over Tonga, and in the palace grounds the soft music of nose flutes is heard. In ancient times it was the custom for the overlords of Tonga to be awakened in this manner. Today, as a mark of respect, musicians play beneath the window of Queen Elizabeth's bedroom to greet the new day. Later, the visitors are shown around the palace grounds by Queen Salote. And here they're particularly interested to meet the famous tortoise, Tui Malila. Queen Salote tells her guests that the tortoise was presented to the King of Tonga by Captain Cook more than 180 years ago. And it was Captain Cook who first called the Kingdom of Tonga the Friendly Islands. Now as the guests of Queen Salote and her people, the Queen and the Duke know from their own experience that the name Friendly Islands was indeed well bestowed on this happy, proudly independent kingdom of the South Pacific. Soon they must leave Tonga on the next stage of their long Commonwealth journey. But first, on this quiet Sunday morning, they'll attend divine service. With Queen Salote, who is head of the Wesleyan Free Church of Tonga, they leave the palace for the new church at Nukualofa. A congregation of more than 2,000 joins the royal party in a combined Christmas observance service that will long be remembered by all who were there. The service over, Queen Salote's chaplain, the Reverend A. E. Mackay, an Australian Wesleyan minister, bids Queen Elizabeth and the Duke of Edinburgh Godspeed. The hour of farewell has come all too soon, and the people of Tonga make their way to the foreshore of Nukualofa. Out in the harbour lies a graceful white ship, the Royal Liner Gothic in which the Queen and the Duke will voyage to New Zealand. Today, as Queen Salote and Queen Elizabeth drive through the capital on the way to the wharf, the streets are almost deserted. The Tongan people have gone down to the shore to say goodbye to their guests. This friendly drive together recalls the last meeting of the two queens in London, when Queen Salote, an honoured guest at the coronation, won the hearts of the British people by her grace and charm. Now Queen Elizabeth takes with her the lasting affection of the people of Tonga. At the water's edge, the final handshake. Her Majesty Queen Salote Tapo. His Royal Highness Crown Prince Tungi, Premier of Tonga, and his wife, Princess Mata'aho. Princess Melana Aite, wife of the younger prince, Tui Palahaki. The royal family bids farewell to the Queen of the Commonwealth and her consort on behalf of all Tonga. Now in accordance with ancient custom, Queen Salote with her sons, the princesses and the grandchildren embark in a government launch and set out to escort the royal liner through the reef to the open sea. The people watch for their return. Farewell messages are exchanged as the Gothic steams slowly out to sea. For all Tonga, and for Queen Elizabeth and the Duke of Edinburgh, these have been days to remember.
days of great happiness in the friendly islands. Oh, my God.